Say good afternoon, Vila. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Good afternoon. Happy Thursday. <laughs> no, Mom. What happened? What you want to say? You want to say something? Go ahead and say something. What do you want to say? Say good afternoon. You want to go to me? Yeah. <laughs> We're on our way to Walmart again. Okay, you can talk. Just talk. Just talk. Just say whatever you want to say. We're on our way to walk. Oh my gosh. Now y'all see. Now y'all see what? Ooh. Yeah, we're actually on our way. That's why I was talking soft at certain parts in the vlog. Because... Okay, Viola, just go say good afternoon. Go ahead, say good afternoon. Okay, they heard you. Y'all heard? Y'all say y'all heard? All right, yeah, we're on our way to Walmart again. Yes, I know. Stay in Walmart. Well, we're actually going because Viola has grown out of some of her shoes. So I wanted to get her a couple of pairs of shoes because we're gonna try uh, to uh, we're gonna try preschool again. I found a new uh, place. They're actually having an open house on Saturday, and so I don't know if my husband's gonna be off. If he is, you know, then I can go by myself. I just want to be able to see the school and see what they have to offer, ask questions. She's only going to go part-time. I'm not going to throw her to the wolves and do a full-time thing because the grandmas, my mother-in-law and my mom, are enjoying having their, their days. Like, my mom has Monday and my mother-in-law has Tuesday. And they really enjoy having that granddaughter and grandma, a.k.a. Nana time, with their granddaughter. So I'm not going to take that away from them. Mommy. But Viola has to go to school uh, like three days out of the week. Yeah, 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 Viola, relax. You're gonna see Nana tomorrow. My mom asked me today. Oh, can I, can I um, have her uh, because she's gonna be picking up my nephew from school, and my nephew asked if uh, if Viola could come. My nephew's six, and um, he lives like a two two and a half hours away from where we live, and so I really never get to see him unless my mother is babysitting him and so um yeah so he asked if my mom could could pick uh if if she could pick Viola up you know Viola could be so he could see her and they can play because my mother picks my nephew up from school she takes him to the park she takes him out to dinner and they just have like a whole nana day and so um yeah so that's what it is but yeah we're gonna go to Walmart and we're gonna get some shoes from this, from this lady and also um I'm just gonna see if they got some you know cool little PJs for Viola too because you know if, this child, even though I just bought her some PJs, I mean, they're already getting small. Like, I buy everything one size bigger, and this kid is growing so fast. It's, like, ridiculous. I think it's the milk. Like, gee whiz, man. Because Viola, I told you, Viola stopped drinking juice. She don't, she stopped drinking it, but she rarely drinks juice. She's all about water and milk. And so, she drinks so much milk, it's like, I can't keep her in clothes. She's already, she's two and a half, 31 months, and she's already in a size 4T. So, I mean, and she's not fat or overweight or anything. She's just a solid kid. And so, um, as y'all can see, y'all seen her. Well, y'all gonna see her in the store. So, I'm about to, um, I'm about to go in the store here and see if I can find some cool little school shoes for her. And I also have to get her like a, like a fitted sheet or a sheet for their nap time. And I also want to get Viola um, a lunchbox because the lunchbox that I did get her is like a really cheap lunchbox from Kmart, and they didn't even have a good selection. I just was buying, you know, whatever I saw. But I really want to get her uh, a, a real lunch bag that you could actually put something in there, you know, because I got her one of those divided containers where you can put like, you know, like a sandwich, some fruit, you know, stuff like that. So yeah. We're finally here, so I will see y'all when I get inside.
y'all. We just came out of Walmart. Y'all see what I gotta go through? Oh my god. And it's just every time we go anywhere, it doesn't even matter. No matter where we go, it's just constant. Constant. The life of the mother of a two year old. Lord Jesus. Help me. Just, it, it, it doesn't even matter what it is. It could be something so simple. And as soon as she gets up, as soon as she gets something that she wants, it's like the tears just never happened. I've never seen somebody switch emotions like so freaking quick. Like one minute she'll be screaming and the next minute she'll be like, Hi mommy, what you doing? And I'm just like, weren't you just screaming just a second ago? Yeah. Oh my God. But I had to take her on this shopping trip because I needed her to try on the shoes. Because even though she's in a size seven, certain shoes certain uh, styles of shoes may not fit and there's one shoe that did fit her but it looked like it was getting ready to be too tight but i was getting ready to be in a size eight soon like in the next month and a half she's gonna be in a size eight so i don't even look at size seven i try to size seven to see if it'll fit her but the size seven it fits but it, it's getting ready to be too tight so i just start buying size eight so she's in a size eight shoe and she's a four t in clothes i bought her as y'all saw i bought a couple of pajamas and she's never gonna have enough pajamas because sometimes she'll soil through her pajamas and yeah i gotta throw them in the white and i don't have a washer and dryer at my house at my apartment so um yeah so i can't really and some of that stuff you have to put in the wash machine you cannot hand wash because it was stained like it's really really stained so i just you know pre-treat it and put it in the wash and then whenever i go to the wash house on um on fridays i uh i uh i wash her stuff but yeah i always have to have backup pjs because you know she'll mess them up and whatever and that's fine you know it's not no big deal to me i just want to make sure i have enough and plus two of the pjs that i bought her like a month ago look like they're getting ready to be too tight this kid is growing like a weed like oh man you got to stay on top of it and so i feel like i'm doing okay you know i buy stuff little by little and so it does add up if you buy stuff like you know once a month you know she'll have a nice little, little collection of clothing you know that she could wear for some time before they get too small but yeah man going to the store it's like it's real stressful because i'm constantly talking talking stop doing that don't do this don't open that don't touch that and it's not like i could just you know like oh i could like pop her or or you going the wrong way this stupid lady she going on the wrong she this is a one-way street and she trying and she riding this away Oh, I tell you, boy, and don't care. That's how it is. Yeah, um, it's just anytime I try, if I try to talk to her stern, she ah, and then talk back. Oh Lord, oh that's a new thing. Yeah, talking back. Oh yes, no, it isn't. You be quiet, mom. Yeah, talk back. I thought I had it under control, but she just turned into the monster. <laughs> Talking back, talking trash back to me. My mom was like, didn't I tell you <laughs> what you was going to have would be worse than you? My mom was like, you were never like that. You were never like that. But see, my mother was hardcore. I, I had to fear God, but she ain't got to fear. I ain't got, you know, I ain't got the heart to put no fear in her. You know what I'm saying? So, but I'm, I, I had to get her together a couple of times because she was just... Everything I put in the shopping cart, she throws across, through across the aisle. Like, what are you doing? You cannot, you're not gonna do that. And I guess she feel like when she's in public, you know, people are around, you know, you can't really do nothing to me. You know, you can't fuss at me, you can't say nothing cause I'm real cute and people gonna look at you crazy if you try to say something to me, I don't care. I don't worry about the stares, I don't worry about the looks, I don't care. I don't worry about the comments, it don't matter to me. Wherever you act up is wherever you get it. And so I had to pop up, you know, because it was just like, it's just getting ridiculous. And I know a lot of people don't agree with it, you know, hey, you do what's, what's, uh, what's good for your family and I do what's good for mine. Ain't no form of discipline perfect, none of them, because none of them is a, is a, is a, a behavior, bad behavior deterrent, you know. But to get her snap out of that craziness and get her together, yeah, that's what I have to do. 
because I'm not going to have my child acting like no wild banshee. Because people will talk about you whether you discipline your child or not. If you don't discipline them, they'll talk about you. If you discipline them, they'll talk about you. If you're too hard, they'll talk about you. If you're too lean, they'll talk about you. It's just like you can't freaking win, so you just have to just do the best that you can. You know, but yeah, we're on our way home. See if I could get like an hour and a half nap. Um, I was in there for two hours. I don't even know how I was in there for two hours because it didn't even seem like I was literally in there for 30 minutes because I went boom, 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 boom. Just I knew where, you know, everything was. And so well, I had an idea where everything was. So I was able to just get what I could get. I got, I did get a couple of extra things that I really didn't, I didn't really go to the store for no dresses, but they were five bucks, like four ninety seven for nice little dresses. Like, you could pass that up, like, and it's summertime too, so you know I I never dress Viola in like those you know those those classic church dresses like real big poofy dresses. I don't because you know it's uncomfortable. Those dresses are not comfortable. Yeah, they're cute and they're beautiful. I would only dress her like that to take pictures, but I would never have her be around you know like that. And plus, this Sunday's Easter, and you know even though she goes to Sunday school, they go outside. They have like a a little play area, toddler play area, and they, and, you know, she want to be able to, you know, interact with her friends and stuff without having that big poofy dress. Because back in the day, they didn't <clears throat> really have that where you can play and stuff. You know, I think we had Sabbath school because I was raised Seventh Day Adventist, so you had your little uh, hour or thirty minute little lesson, Sunday Sabbath school lesson, church lesson, and then you went back and you sat, you did, you sat through the whole service with your parents. So, of course, you had to dress, you know, kind of dress up, you know. But now, the uh, she spends the entire service in Sunday school. The entire service, she's in Sunday school. And I don't want her to be uncomfortable because they play games. They sit on the floor. You know, I want her to be able to sit crisscross with her legs crisscross and be comfortable without having this big poofy dress and stockings. And it's hot, okay? We live in hot Florida. It's so hot. So yeah, so I got some really great summer church dresses that she can be really, really comfortable. And um, yeah, so anyways, I will see y'all another day. Try to get this girl to take a nap and then I'll be leaving like maybe 10, 10 minutes to four to uh, uh, pick up my husband from work and that's it. I'll see y'all another day. This is the result of raising hell. This is what happens to a child when they raise too much hell in the store. You see? That's what happened when they raise too much hell. I said, I'm gonna make you take a nap. I'm not sleepy. Look. Lord have mercy. So yeah, that's what happened.